Hi, I'm Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric. I've avoided putting this video together because I've been afraid of getting a million questions asked. This video, I'm going to talk about the AC voltage path through specifically a snowmobile and specifically at this time an Arctic Cat. The voltage I'm talking about is your power side. It's the voltage that powers your lights and your gauges, your hand warmers and so forth. So first I'll start off with the stators. I've got a bunch of stators here just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, mid 90s, early 90s EFI Articat stator. We've got a couple ignition coils on it, but all of these other coils on here that are wound on these posts, much larger gauge wire, and this is the power side for your stator. And as I show you the other stators, you'll notice every single stator, the wire is much larger gauge on here, and those are your, that's the AC power that powers, your, like I say, lights, hand warmers, gauges, and so forth. So this is like an early 90s EFI battery. So all of these would be used basically to charge the battery. And it's got three yellow wires coming out of it. It's one of the only ones with three yellow wires coming out that plugs into your wiring harness. Uh, most of the other cats just have two yellow wires. So I'll show you some more of those. This would just be an example of a ZRT stator 93 to 99. Uh, same difference, you've got uh, two ignition coils, low speed, high speed, but then you can see the much larger gauge wire on here, and this is your power side for your 93 through 98 ZRT 800, 900,000. And as you can see on this plug, there are two wires that are only yellow here. So the two wires, those would be the two wires you would check for your output on your AC voltage. So I'll run through a couple other ones here. I'll show you how to check the AC voltage in a minute here. Uh, just a little bit newer style. Uh, this one here is like an 04 uh, ZR440 Snow Pro stator. They use this also in uh, uh, like the ZR800, uh, 900s and so forth. Uh, smaller gauge wire here is ignition, but this large gauge wire here, once again, that's power for your lights, gauges, and so forth. Uh, we'll bounce through just a couple more here. This is like a, a ZR, like a 440, 5, was it 550, 650, 700s, early 90s. Uh, you've got the three big lighting coils here, and then we've got our two ignition coils, our low speed on the bottom and our high speed here on top. So instead of having several posts wound, we've got three large posts. And once again, on this unit, uh, we've got two non-yellow wires, you know, like our black and brown, and we've got two yellows coming out of here. So... Uh, just a couple more here. This unit here is a ZR, like a ZR600 EFI stator, but this is like a 2000, 2001 uh, ZR600 EFI stator. But uh, So you've got injection coils, and then you've got ignition coils, and then once again, this other large gauge wire here is your power for your uh, lights and gauges and so forth. And just, another, just one other one here. I know a lot of guys have the uh, F-style chassis and so forth. This is like an 03 F7 stator here. Uh, same difference, although we've only got the four posts here for power, and then we've got our uh, ignition, ig injectors, and then fuel pump coils. So those are our other ones on here. So this particular snowmobile, 94 uh, Articat Cougar 440 liquid, has a little bit different stator in it. It looks different than a lot of the other stators used in Articat or even any other sleds. But again, you look at it, and you've got the two large coils on here, large gauge wire. This is what your power, your AC power is coming from that powers lights, gauges, and so forth. All stators put out AC power. They put out AC power for your lights and also for your ignition. So there's no DC power coming out of the stator itself. All power is AC. So our general path of our power for, for at least on sleds here and for most two strokes in general, we've got our stator that's in there and then we've got our flywheel goes around our stator, excites the coils and then it puts out the AC voltage, comes out of the plug and goes into the wiring harness and when it goes into the wiring harness the first place it goes is to the regulator. Now I hear guys say regulator, rectifier, rectifier regulator. Regulators alone rectify AC voltage and this is just an example of a rectifier there's you know you go look in catalogs and so forth there's lots of different types and styles of, of regulators regulators regulate AC voltage your stator and I'll show you this in a minute your stator is going to put out voltage anywhere from about 10 volts to like 30 volts 
uh, coming out of the stator itself. Our regulator keeps it where the system can use the voltage uh, efficiently. So it, it keeps it in that, you know, if it's at a low idle, 9, 10 volts up to, you know, 12 volts, I've seen, you know, 13, 14 at times. But that's what a regulator does. Rectifiers, you know, you've got rectifiers on car alternators and so forth. That's what, uh, you have the diodes in there and so forth. That's what essentially creates your, takes your AC voltage into DC voltage. So that's a rectifier, AC voltage to DC voltage. Now, a, a sled like the early 90s EFI sleds that had the batteries, then those would have a regulator rectifier because it's regulating and then powering lights and so forth in rectifying uh, so it can also power and charge the battery depending on your system. There's different ways that they that they work that. But I thought I'd just let guys know they use regulator rectifier and they actually mean one and not the other at times. So primarily regulator because everything running on your sled is AC voltage. The AC voltage that comes out and goes to your ECU or your CDI box once it goes into the ECU or CDI box, that's where it is rectified into DC voltage. So coming out of your ECU or your uh, CDI box or what have you, that is DC voltage. And then goes into your coils as DC voltage. It's amplified and it comes out as DC voltage going to your spark plugs. So that's where guys, you know, well, it's got DC voltage in there too. Yes, it does. Coming out of the ECU or CDI box going to the plugs. But everything coming out of the stator is AC voltage. That's what we start with. So now in my other videos, I talk about the stators and I talk about open ignition, closed ignitions. And on the, uh, like the open ignitions, on the open ignitions, all you have to do is unplug the wiring harness from this plug here and your sled will still run. The closed loop is when you unplug it, then you have to use the jumper wire on it. So this unit here is a closed loop system. So what I'm going to show you real quick, I'm going to unplug the stator from the wiring harness and show you the AC voltage coming out. So I'm going to have to use the jumper wire to do that. So you can see, like I say, how much voltage the, the stator actually puts out on its own. So on this unit here, we've got our, uh, you can see our plug here. I know it's tucked in here a little bit, but not too bad. Here's uh, coming out from the stator, and this is the wiring harness portion of it here. We can unplug it. Here's our, our plug coming out of our stator. We take our two non-yellow wires. We've got our uh, black and brown essentially here. Here's the handy dandy little jumper wire. Just make yourself anything that'll, that'll fit in there and, and uh, make contact for you. So we can go ahead and plug that side and plug into the male plug on this side. And then what we'll do is those other two wires, the two yellow wires, the two yellow wires on this are where the AC power is going to come out. So you can start this up and then just take your multimeter and we're going to stick it in the other side and measure AC voltage. It's going to be anywhere between, like I say, 9 or 10 volts at idle, upwards of uh, close to 30 volts when you rev it up. So we've got that jump so we can start it up now. So a lot of guys will say, well, I've got no lights. My stator's bad. About the only time the stator ever goes bad on the power side is if there's damage to it. You saw how thick the wiring is on that. So this is the quick way to check the voltage output of your stator. Because usually your, your, your problem is a ground or a short somewhere else or your regulator went bad. Stators very, very rarely go bad unless there's damage on the, on the lighting coils of it. So we checked our voltage output. And before I go any further, my father had an excellent idea. He said, for your, if your sled is running, you're having no problems, you can go out and just check all this right now. 
and just write down the numbers you get so if someday something does happen you can compare you know when it did run to where it, when it didn't run so we've checked voltage coming out of our stator right now you saw you know about 10 volts at idle almost 28 29 almost 30 when you rev it up and uh, you, they usually max out around 5,000 rpms or so 6,000 rpms so we know voltage is coming out of our stator now it's, I can't really do it on this snowmobile because of the plug is back there a little bit. You can, the next thing you would want to do is check the voltage going to your regulator. You can see the regulator on this sled is right here. The plug is back in here a little bit. But essentially, I mean, you've got different plugs for these stator. You've got you know two plug, three plug, four plugs, depending on your sled, your model, your year. But essentially, you just do the same thing you just did. You can uh, uh, plug the harness back in because you know that's fine and you've got the plug going into the harness coming to the regulator, just unplug that, the two plugs, and then take your probes, stick it in the, uh, the plug you know, that goes into your regulator, start the sled up, measure your voltage, make sure the voltage is getting from the stator to your regulator. Some regulators are on this side, some are on the, you know, like a firewall kind of thing, some are by the footwell, some are over on the other side. I mean, it's, it's mix and match hodgepodge time. You've got to look around and try to find your, your regulator. So you would check your AC voltage, come out of the stator, that's fine. Voltage is getting to your regulator, that's fine. Now we want to check voltage after the regulator. The easiest way to do that is just find a plug, uh, something that goes to your light, something that goes to uh, your hand warmers. On this unit, the plug is kind of way up underneath in here. Sometimes you've got to look around for a plug. But I unplugged the, the light plug in front here. So what I'll do is we know the voltage coming out of the stator is fine, so I'll plug this back in so the key and everything works, and that the power, the AC power, is going through the harness now. So when I start it up, you'll see where like the gauges work, uh, the tail light works, but I've already unplugged the headlight on it. So we'll start it up. We'll just take, like I say, the saw basically a peak of about 12 volts getting up to your light here so in a nutshell guys that's how we check our, our voltage our our stator makes all AC voltage coming out the voltage once it leaves the stator goes through a regulator most of the time obviously rectifiers for when you have batteries and so forth goes through the regulator and then after it leaves the regulator that's when it goes through the sled and powers your lights and so forth so you can check it coming out of the out of the stator. Check it going to your regulator, and then if you've got a light out, your real tail light is out. You just you know you can find the plug for it, unplug it, and check your voltage and see if you're getting it at the light. Uh, and then obviously you can even check the ohms on the light to see if the light's bad because you know a lot of times your, your light's bad. I had a guy one time, you know, blew all the lights in his sled. He thought the regulator was bad, but what happened was I'll, I'll just grab this one here. But what happened was the regulator was down behind the secondary. It was a like 03 um, F7, and the the secondary hit the wires here. So basically, the the 30 volts coming to you, the regulator went got to the secondary that made a path from the one wire to the other wire. It went right back out into the system. So he hit you know he hit his whole sled with 30 volts. It was unregulated voltage and blew everything in his sled. He thought the regulator was bad. And we, we measured everything and, and so forth, and I said, well, your regulator's not bad at all. And then I showed him, and he's really, we, we took it, because he had bought a new one, took the old one, plugged it back in. I said, everything's fine. I said, you just cut those wires and, uh, you know, shorted that path for a second, and, you know, 30 volts to your whole system and blew everything. But when it comes to electrical guys, you know, you got to fish and, and, and look and measure and... and 
Oh, like I said, I kind of dreaded making this video ever, and uh, I'm dreading some of the uh, emails I may get, but uh, this gives you, you guys some general knowledge. We can go out and look at some things yourself, and like my dad said, just go ahead and and uh, measure things. If your sled's running fine, just unplug a few things, measure a few things, and, and get an idea of what kind of voltage it is uh, getting and where, and then if you do have an issue down the road, you'll have a few numbers to, to reference back to. So. All right, guys, be safe out on the trails, and uh, this has been Blaine Pertler for Pertler Electric. Mm. Thank you.